Welcome back to another episode of Talk to C. I am currently in Florence, Italy, which you can't see much here. You may know this because I've mentioned a few other episodes where my mom actually lives here and I've been coming a lot over the last five to six years. So it's pretty cool because I kind of feel at home. I'm going for a run right now. It's a little past 8.30 a.m. And it's been great because I've been going to my favorite places here in Florence, which I'm going to show to you guys today. But before we do that, let me just go over a quick B-roll of me running. So every time I travel, if there's one thing I always have, it's my running shoes. And I get annoying about this, but I always tell people that going for a run in whatever city you're in makes your tourism completely different and lets you experience the city in a way that you wouldn't experience if you didn't run. But enough of all the running, let's get to the food. But when you're in Florence or anywhere in Italy, there's three things you have to eat. And luckily, like I mentioned, my mom lives here. So she's done the homework over the last five years of finding the best one for each one. So let's get to it. So the first thing you have to eat is a sandwich or better called a panini. And the best place to do that is in a restaurant called Alantico Vinayo, which is the most well known. It started here in Florence and now they have locations in Rome and Milan. And they're so good that they've literally taken over the entire street. All the ingredients are very fresh. You can literally see them preparing the sandwich in front of you. I, for example, had one that had pesto. And then the protein part, they'll literally throw it to the left and cut it at the moment before you get it. Here's the money shot. The food was amazing. And even my grandpa really, really liked it. But more importantly is the pizza, which is item number two. The best place is one called Pizza Yolo. So this is a place, they blocked the sign with a little tent, but the pizza's great, that's my family, waiting to eat. And from all the places that my mom has tried, and even I've tried, this is definitely the best. So enjoy some B-roll of the food. Rating one to ten. Solid nine. Solid nine. If Dave Pornoy was here, he will say the following: good undercarriage, little floppy, great crust. Nine point four. So bonus is the cantoncini, the best place in Florence, Leonardo's. I got the cantoncini with chocolate and orange. What's the rating? One to ten? I would say 9.6. 9.6. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh -huh. One through ten. Okay. Then. Yeah. We're giving rookie scores out here. So this is the best gelato place. I like it. It's my mom's favorite. It's very homemade. All gelato you eat in Florence is probably going to be good. But this is probably going to be the best one. 
There's a name. I'll leave it all in the description. And that is it for today's video. So tomorrow I'm actually leaving to Paris and I'll probably be doing some vlogging slash video there. But I hope you guys like this video. If I left any spots that you think I'm missing or you like the format, let me know in the comments and I'll check it out. Subscribe. See you next time. Peace. Arriba el vallón.